<laughs> I had to hit you up to come over here. <laughs> but we're back on Cheese Man with Duno. You feel me? This is the last time y'all gonna see the setup because I'm moving things around. I'm finna have a new setup, fixing this. So, bro, was the last interview in this motherfucker. How you doing, fool? I'm good, man. I can't complain. You feel me? Chilling. Life's amazing, huh? It's cool. You know? Trying to, you know, trying to get it amazing, but it's good for now. You a dad now. Well, congratulations. I'm, on that, a, I'm a pop, my boy. How did that, how, how did that feel? Uh, that shit was crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, <clears throat> you, you ain't got no kids, huh? Hell nah. Nah, like when you're in the, de- in the delivery room and shit, and you start seeing the little, you know, come out and shit. Yeah. shit a trip, bro. And I ain't even know what he was gonna look like. So when I seen him, I'm like, oh shit, you feel me? I gotta be your dad now. Oh, did you cut the cord? Yeah. But did it feel weird? That shit weird, fool. It felt like rubber. <laughs> nah, um, I've heard stories about people fainting during the deliveries or people just like, people, um, fuck, a lot of the homies that had kids, they said they'd be shocked to see how much pain women could go through. As yeah, the homie too right here saying you almost fainted. Well, you almost fainted? Nah, uh, <laughs> but I, I was watching the whole shit, like when his little hair was, I said, I was watching that fool come out. You feel me? So, uh, I, uh, I like watching that shit. Nah, nah, fucking the homie told me that he, him seeing like his girl shit like go apart, just like the body coming out of it, he's like, bro, that's the most crazy shit I ever seen. Oh, my DM did it like a G, you feel yeah. me? That was lit, it was lit. Yeah, yeah, man. Well, Bravo, let the people, everybody, I feel like we have the same fan base. Yeah. Everybody knows who, who you are, but if they don't know who you are, let them know who you are, where'd you grow up, what city you're from, your ethnicity, and all that. All right, man, I'm Bravo the Back Chaser, man. One of the hottest young rappers coming up out of L.A. You know, I'm uh, really based, like, in the Valley area, bro. You know, my music just started popping off shit. I say, like, like. Forever? <laughs> nah. <laughs> like, you know, I started doing numbers, real numbers. Like, n- niggas started getting paid off. But like yeah. I said a couple years ago, before we was just rapping, nigga. You feel me? Like, yeah. in the studio. Now it's like. We getting we getting money now, so yeah, bro. You know that's what I do doing this music shit. Trying to you know I'm about to drop my album. Talk about it. Talk about now, it. You know please. what? I, I I ain't I ain't even said the day. I'm gonna say here first. It's dropping on September 22nd. You feel me? Okay, 922. Yeah. So now this shit gonna be out by Monday, boy. I'm like we got bro. I got like I gotta drop this by Monday. Yeah. The clips out by Tuesday. Clickbait and we out this motherfucker. You feel? Yeah, bro. <laughs> you know. Damn. This is your this isn't your first official studio album, right? This is your second? Would you, would you consider your first or your second? What's the difference, fool, between studio? I don't know, you're the rapper. I be see, I be, nah, yeah, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> hey, what's the difference, bro? Because I be seeing, it be like. A lot of th- people, this one, huh? Yeah. This one would probably be my first, like, studio and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because a lot of people would say their first. <sighs> Because I think people do that, like, people use the word studio after they get signed. I'm not saying that, I mean, I don't know your signing situation, but what I'm saying is a lot of rappers will be, like, first studio album with a certain person or a certain nah, label. Yeah. I don't know, because I'm not signed. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> independent okay. boys. Independent, my way. Being independent, fool, how frustrating is it? Shit, man, it's hella frustrating, bro. I ain't gonna lie, especially, like, I wish I had, like, a label, you know, support roll out you know what i mean yes 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 but you know you got a good team and shit you know shit you know you make shit happen no I'm i ain't definitely. yeah i ain't gonna lie I, just my shit doing well yeah so i'm not i'm not tripping my boy yeah no it's because because when i think about in the when you when you think about independence because so example for me right i have like i have cali with me on my team we we just go back and forth but like i know like example, I see Adam's team, and he's he's obviously he he he, he owns his own brand. He owns no jumper. Yeah. But he has like he knows people already know what he wants. Uh, they like thumbnails, clips, titles. He puts it. In. But me, bro, I gotta hit up all the cameramans that film my shit. Like I need my shit right now. Yeah. I gotta do all the extra little shit. So I'm like, I could only imagine you gotta hit up, bro. I'm like, where's the engineer? Where's my mix? Yeah, and bro. if the mix is not there, where's the cover? I switch this, and you gotta go back and forth. For sure. we be going, we be going back and forth, bro. You know how that shit go. <laughs> I feel know. like it's the same shit, really, just different. You know, I do music, you do yeah, like the podcast theme. I mean, shit. but you gotta think about it. The podcast theme is is it's a uh, it's more of a it it's like it's a little easier to contain because of the fact that it's just film, upload, audio gotta be okay. You gotta make sure your shit sounds good. On a phone speaker, yeah, on a car. real speaker, in a car, and at the club, and you gotta make sure you make something that people could dance to. 
That's right. Or just vibe, trap, whatever, cry, whatever the situation yeah, is. Yeah. Try to make music, you know, for everybody. Yeah, for everybody. For the white folks, the Mexicans, the blacks, everybody. everybody. Bro. You feel me? Have you ever have you ever sat there and made a, a specific song for a specific type of people? Uh yeah, for the for the bitches. Yeah, okay. You know, for the for the women. Was for what's the motivation? Like you have to go to the strip club before type shit? Mm, nah. <laughs> you know, probably just, you know, they get some good ass head, you feel me? Go into the booth. Say some, Say some, you know, since have you ever got a head in the booth? If you have, bro, you're a piece of shit because you didn't get your engineer head. Uh no, nah, I feel like I wouldn't be able to concentrate. You, you wouldn't me? be able to do it? Nah. I need to be I need to be fully there. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? What's 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 Bravo the Bag Chaser's routine while in the studio? I've been in the studio with you, but I feel like every time I'm with you, you're just vibing. I feel like, but what's like the before? Like do you gotta wear a certain type of clothes so you can look swaggy and you feel some type of way? Shit, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I like just, you know, yeah, I like being fly, you feel me? Like, yeah. you know, if, if you bum me, you go bum me in some sweats and some slides, and you're not gonna make no fly music. I like going fly, bro. You feel me? Had a homie pull up, you know, we go up, turn up in that bitch's vibe, you feel me? I'm gonna keep it a buck. You're the only rapper I've never seen bum me. Oh, I appreciate Cause it. Cause I've bro, seen bro. a lot of rappers, I'd be like, ha. Ah. I should take a picture of you right now, bro. <laughs> Stole <laughs> your <laughs> ass, huh? <laughs> I'll get on your stupid ass. <laughs> nah, bro. I'll like, be chilling. But yeah. you're one rap. And can can you tell people your age? Because it fucking blows my mind when, you, when I find out your age. I'm 21, my boy. Okay, you're only a year younger than me, but it just blows my mind. And and, and for you saw the clip when I was talking to Phoenix. Yeah, I seen that. That's what made me want to come in here. Yes, sir. I was like, bro, this fool has such a fucking old soul. <laughs> if you, he's, he's on camera right now, but if you talk to him off camera, he's like, He's just very mellow, chill, <laughs> faded. Wants to just make hella good music and shit yeah. like that. If you know me, you know me. Type yeah, shit, facts, facts, facts. Yeah. Being that young, do you feel like rappers didn't take you serious at first? Uh, yeah, bro. On my mama, man. Motherfuckers ain't took me serious till I passed their ass up. You, you pass, me? Talk about it, talk yeah. about it. Please, yeah, please, yeah. please. But, I mean, I remember reaching out to, you know, I'm not going to say no names and shit, but like, you know, rappers and shit in the city. You know, I wanted features and shit. I'm trying to go up, bro. I'm just like at this point. I mean, who's uh, like who's when I was coming? Nah, nah. Oh, when okay, I was, I was say, when I was coming up, you crazy. <laughs> Shoot this bitch up. Hey, nah. When I was coming up, bro, it wasn't a lot of Mexican rappers like that. You Most, feel me? Uh, one thing I could say is that I think I I said this before on another podcast, but I remember seeing you do your shit. The um, for, I made a skit to your video. Not I like, remember a really long time ago. And at the moment, I was like, struggling, it. bro. I was, uh, it's, 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 it's our time. Yeah, I didn't delete it. <laughs> but why it was why like, you do that, weirdo? <laughs> this nigga weird. He didn't even repost it. Archive, homie. He, he, oh, archive. <laughs> he just commented on it like a fucking famous asshole. Nah, hell nah, fool. <laughs> but look, I remember seeing it and I was like, damn, bro, we got somebody that looks exactly like us doing this shit. Facts, bro. And I remember being in high school and you was doing your shit, fool. Yeah, you was, you was like, a, you was, you hot, where's your birthday, fool? I'm a 2000 baby, so I'm only a year. Oh, okay, older a year for sure. So when when you was you was on your come up, we was in high school too. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I remember the, and we're, and we could get into it right after. But I remember the you and the Austin the Pac Man days. Yeah. And I was like, oh, we was we was on SoundCloud with it in class. Oh God, like this, yeah, SoundCloud was. And you the heard shit. this shit yeah, before? Oh, everything. And they used to be like, oh yeah, Bravo hard, Bravo hard. <laughs> he used to do it. And I was like, damn. Nah, yeah, but back to the question that you asked, bro, how you feel like I was treated? Yes. People didn't take me serious. Yeah, like I said, it wasn't a lot of Mexican rappers and shit when I was coming up, especially, you know, my age. Especially you your age. You feel me? And, um, yeah, bro, I remember, you know, hitting certain artists, man, they wasn't fucking with me. Pipe, just, I don't know they weren't fucking with me, but they wasn't getting back. So, I remember, bro, like, shout out Phoenix, because that's my brother, you feel me? Like, that's, I fuck with him, bro. He really, he one of the artists that fuck with me. He didn't give a fuck. Yeah, like, he, like, he fucked with me when I had, like, 10K followers, you feel me? Yeah. And um, and yeah, he hit me and everything. So a lot of niggas won't do that. A lot yeah. of niggas won't go out their way to be like, hey, you know, I fuck with you, you know. Everything's so envious nowadays. Um, but uh, bro did that. And then I, you heard Bravo flexing? Yeah, of course, bro. bro. You know that shit went dumb. That shit went dumb in the streets. And that shit ain't even get released like through a label. It was just us in the studio. It was a whole lot of politics. Yeah, and with the label. Yeah, and shout out Phoenix for that because. Uh, I seen I seen the situation where like it was like 
I know he was like doing the whole shoreline shit, but he when you guys dropped Bravo Flexing, it was one of those things where he was like, I'ma still do my shit. Oh and, God, yeah. And I was like, I'ma go and and f- f- I was there for one of the sessions for when you well, yeah. when you guys did this for the shit with Cypress. Oh yeah. And I was like, damn. And we were deep in that motherfucker. It was hot. Motherfuckers was playing 2K. Yeah. We were sweating somewhere. Oh, in the I remember in North Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, that shit was crazy, bro. And then that shit was crazy because that shit just showed how how much of a good artist the homie is, you know, on on his own type shit. So. No, and then seeing him work outside of everybody that was part of Shoreline showed his his also his expansion. Like he was able to make music with or without having the help of a certain artist or certain people around him. He just you know he was able to do his own shit with other people, and that's what and and that's what making music is about. Because I feel like you could make a song with one person forever. It's kind of like you, right? It's kind of like you could work with one producer, but I'm pretty sure you've worked with a thousand producers, and you're allowed to. Work with everybody's sound and beats and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, facts, bro, facts. When, what's the most, for you don't gotta say no names, but what's one of the things that like motivates you when a certain person didn't hit you up or left you on scene or they reply like, nah, little bro, get your numbers up first type shit? I, ain't nobody ever said that. He said, nah, little bro, get your numbers up. Bro, I'm crazy. trying to get his numbers nigga, up. Nigga, you can't little bro me, nigga. <laughs> but, uh, man. It was really the not getting back to me and shit. You feel yeah, me? That was really that was it. You feel me? Yeah, and yeah. and then I'm like, man, I know we be in the same building. We gonna be at this show. You feel me, young? And then, but nigga, I I just told myself, bro, I was like, I'm gonna keep working. I'm gonna keep working, bro. I remember, uh, well, I know Cypress was there, bro. It was a show at the Shrine, fool. Yeah. Phoenix just threw me in the water on everything. It was oh, like okay. six thousand people, yeah. LA, fool. Like yeah. I'm I'm barely like the no better shit barely going. You yeah. feel me? Like it's not no. I'm not that yet, yeah, you know? Yeah. Fool. I go out and stay on the stage, bro. It's like 6,000 people, bro. I'm like, yeah, you know, we go, you know, everybody just like looking at me like, bro, only like, I see little lights in the crowd, not too many, yeah. fool. And then that shit was just, it was like, man, one day I'm, I'm finna have everybody seeing my shit. You feel yeah, me? Man. And then, and then that, that's what's going on now. Niggas touring out of state. Nigga, I'm selling out. <laughs> I'm going to states so I ain't never been to before, bro. And I'm selling shit out. You feel me? But, I, yeah, like I said, I had to pass everyone up, bro. Yeah, I had to nah. pass everyone up. Seeing your grind definitely motivated me as well. Because I remember you was doing your shit. I was starting to do my shit. But I remember, like, I was going through the same shit. Like, motherfucker, yeah. like, rappers that I was trying to work with that I was just trying to, like, let me do a skit for you. They was, they was like, leaving me on scene or, like, they wasn't fucking with me. Or I remember when the TikTok shit started blowing up, motherfucker was like, oh, that's corny. Oh, that's this and this. And then now it's like, you need us. Oh God. Oh God. How do you how important do you think TikTok is for rap? Fuck, bro. I'm gonna keep it G. I don't think it's that important, but I think it's a hell of a help. Like if you go up on TikTok and you more, you know, it's just like it's a hell of a help. You it's a hell of a help for sure. I know I seen niggas that go up on TikTok and um that's it. You just go up on TikTok and you can't sell out a show. You can't you feel me? <laughs> yeah, like nah, so nah. I don't think it's important for rap. But I think it'll help you though. You stream numbers wise. Yeah, like say me, like I'm already doing good, and if my shit go crazy on TikTok, it'll help the fuck yeah, out of me. Yeah, that shit would only do better. And you know what's crazy when I um, cause I have like little cousins and they're like, and I always ask them right, cause people know the mainstream rappers in LA, right? Yeah. People know like the mainstream, but if you ask any like I ask my cousin all the time, my little cousins, the guy cousin, my little girl cousins, they always go like, I go like, who do you listen to? You wanna know who the top three? They always say, they say. Bravo, Suede, and Little Maru. Little Maru was hard too. And I'm like, really? And they're like, yeah, that's they're like everybody in school. That's it's not that it's not that you don't think about it, but you would think that they're listening to the people that are on Billboard, like, like Roddy, LA. Roddy Rich, and shit, yeah, and shit like that. But they're like, nah, we don't. They're like, we don't understand it. Like we don't. It doesn't make sense to us. And I'm like, damn, it makes sense because you're fucking. We're around their age, not too far from them. You know, yeah, type shit. Three, four years. Yeah. And then when you go to out of state, is it weird to know that it's like, damn, these fucking. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I think like the first time I went, and you know, I think I don't, I don't know where it was, bro. But I remember when we was in Utah and shit, bro. Utah, you been to Utah? I haven't. They've been, they've been bro. trying to book, but it's just been, yeah. I've been, I'm busy filming this shit. Hey, what time they stop selling alcohol out there, fool? Like at six, at at like, bro, like at eight, fool. So what like you do? it's a Mormon. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. fool. Like I ain't gonna lie, bro. You feel me? I like to take a shot or two before I perform. It get me loose. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. sober. You feel me on stage? It's not that. You know yeah, what I mean? At all. Yeah. So, bro, I'm like telling the homies, 
Man, let's go get a bottle. Nigga, we go to like three different liquors, bro. They all like selling beer and shit. I don't drink beer. Yeah, me either. You feel me? And um, that shit was crazy. So I was sober, fool. Dead ass sober, homie. And the show was sold out. So I wanted to <laughs> celebrate, you feel me, nigga? So we we literally go. I hop on stage, bro. Salt Lake? Salt Lake, yeah. Salt Lake, okay, Utah, fine. bro. And uh, I go on stage, bro. My first time ever out there. I don't know shit. I ain't feel me, you know? Yeah. I go out there, man, everybody like, ah, you know, they got their lights out and it just made me feel good. Like knowing people, you know, they slapping my shit, bro. My shit go, you know, it's going up. I ain't never even been here. You never been there in your life. You know, yeah, that shit dope. New Mexico, too, that shit was crazy, bro. New Mexico, I did not expect that, bro. The homies was just like, oh yeah, the stage right there. I go out, I go up, I'm like, man, this motherfucker lit. You hear me? That shit was jumping. And, and, And for every time I see you fucking do these shows and pull this shit, that shit just makes me hella happy because I know people count us all because of our age. I know the fact that we're this young doing what the fuck we doing. I know people be hating, they be mad. Oh, God. That's why I love seeing the fact that me, you, Sway, Maru, Weirdo, we're like fucking, at our age, a lot of people, I mean, there, there are people doing their shit. Obviously. Yeah, there is, there is. But I feel like for Latinos, like we're just fucking, the we're face, we're the we're face of this just, shit. Bah, bah, bah. Hey, you wanna know something about Mormons that you, did, you probably didn't know? What? When they have sex, they're not a lot of. I heard. Nah, I know about you know, that. You know about this? Yeah. But they're not know, a lot of thrust. Yeah, they're not a lot of do the pumps, but you know what they have they to do? They just gotta leave the shit in there. Yeah, leave it in there, and then their friend goes under the bed and kicks the bed. So make it move. I swear to God. This That's is a crazy. fact, Bravo. <laughs> he said, This is a fact, Bravo. I know. I heard about that shit. Who told me that shit when I was in Utah? <laughs> Somebody told me that shit. You can't thrust or nothing. That's crazy, bro. I be thrusting shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> I be, you know. What's your most horniest state? What you mean? What's the horniest state you've been to? Cause oh. I can tell you mine, Arizona, horniest place I've ever been to in my life. <laughs> That's your horniest state too? Um, that shit is fucking horniada, fool. Shit, horniest state? I don't know. Maybe, maybe AZ, yeah. What's the most, okay, okay. What's the most like thirstiest shit you ever seen? Bro, nigga, we was in a hotel. I forget what state it was. I they were waiting in the front of your room? It was just Idaho. Idaho, fool. Not that long ago. <laughs> Bro, nigga. Like, they calling us the... The, 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 um, the front desk? The front desk of the hotel. They like, man, who the fuck is these people? Like, you know, they outside your room. Woo. I'm like, what the fuck? You know? And then the homie, he go check. Bro, it's like, it's bitches trying to sneak into our room, fool. Like, literally trying to find us and shit. Like, walking all around the hotel. Were they at least I bad? had a show. I don't know, man. We ain't even <laughs> opened the door for them bitches. They was like, tortas. Ah, oh, they was tortas. <laughs> nah, nah, definitely not. But nigga, like, it was that shit was too thirsty. You feel me? That shit was too thirsty. And then, yeah, our, like they was just causing a scene and shit, and, like people trying to find a hotel room and shit like that. That know? was crazy. Was um, has a porn star ever slid in your DMs? Nah. 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 I would have thought a porn star would be in Bravo the back chaser's DM. I mean, shit. Maybe I ain't seen it though. You, you know, it. I ain't seen no point. I'm not gonna say in a lot of these, my boy. <laughs> what about like a super famous girl that, like, she was just she popping, but she was in the DM like, "What are you doing? Uh, my city, where you at?" I'm gonna keep it G, bro. I, I don't even be looking at DMs like that, bro. I'm gonna keep it all the way G. You don't be looking at DMs. And then sometimes, nah. And then sometimes, bro, I like, you know, you know, you know the top request shit. Yeah. yeah. Fool, I had not, no idea about that shit, and I looked, and other people hitting me like 50 weeks ago, like big names and shit, like hitting me, trying to get in contact with me, but I didn't know about it. Damn. So now you doing what people used to do to you? What you mean, <laughs> fool? <laughs> not reply to DMs, the asshole. Nah, nah. <laughs> Ma- shit, maybe. I mean, if that was the case, then I forgive him. <laughs> you feel me? But take a Has, shot. Take a shot, bro. Have you? Oh yeah, I take it with you. Have you worked with a with an artist that left you on scene before? Nah. 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 Wait. Nah. nah. I can't recall. Like an artist that when you was on your come up, they wasn't fucking with you, but then, but then you started popping. You doing what you do. Nah, I, I've had artists that I've hit up before. They never replied, not seen. You feel me? But then when I'm popping, they'll hit me. They hit me. Yeah, I, I won't hit them back. You won't hit them back. Nah, and they be like, Fuck you, and they, and they be like, they be like, what's up? Let's lock some in. And then you send them the email to the to the oh, contact God. Bravo. And oh then, God, to so my manager. <laughs> fuck that. I ain't, try, I ain't trying to fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? It's just You're fake. Just, it's fake love, bro. It's like fake one thing love. about fake love, I don't need it. I don't want it. I don't appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? All the love gotta be genuine with me. For who's the biggest artist that's ever tapped in and, and you know it was genuine? 
I don't, I don't got relationships with. Oh, Mozzie. Oh. Mozzie. Mozzie and, and shout out Koi, too. Koi, yeah, Koi, I, Koi I, I was going to go there right now. Yeah. Shout out the team for not letting you forget that one. On God, but, <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, on God, but Mozzie, bro, like, real nigga, fool, for real. And Draco, R.I.P. R.I.P. You know Draco. what I'm saying? Like, bro hit me when he was in, in, when he was locked up still. He hit me when he was locked up still, bro. And he was like, you know, I fuck with your shit. I'm, I'm, I'm fanning out. Like, nigga, I used to be in the halls, nigga, in my cell, just rapping his shit. You yeah. feel me? So I was just like. Tell me about it. Yeah, oh, God. <laughs> shit. So, so I'm like. You know, his shit went crazy. So I was just like, you know, I, I was like, damn. I was like, you know, he fucked with me, you know? So he hit me. He was all like, uh, I need you to hop on this uh, Pippi Longstocking remix. It had like one take J on it, too. And I was like, for sure, fool, you know? I did that. Bro, I was like, man, just fuck with me when you get out, fool. You feel me? Literally, bro, bro got out. I don't think it was in a week. It wasn't even a week, bro. He put up to the studio, nigga, in a Rolls Royce, nigga. Slapping, you know, like for real, fuck with me, bro. Did the stay dangerous shit off of love. That's, you know what I'm saying? R.I.P. Can you remember where you were at when you found out he died? Yeah, I was at the same place we recorded it, homie. Same Man, place. You know, you know what's crazy about, um, actually, the homie Josh behind the cameras. He seen the whole thing happen. We were at, we were filming the brown bag. Uh, we we're doing the interviews um, at the at the Once Upon a Time in L.A. Mm -hmm. And then they seen the whole shit go down. And I remember I was like, damn. They took, like, I, 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 cause me growing up, obviously I'm like, we're around the same age. So yeah. like, fucking Draco doing what he was doing in Juvenile, bro, in Juvenile Hall, Flu Flammy and Roll Bounds. That shit was impatient. Just, and, and impatient, and impatient nigga. Freestyle, about, nigga like, like, bro was taking function music to a whole other level. The nausea, like, Bravo was just, I mean, fucking Draco was for everybody, you know what I mean? Oh, God, bro. I feel like he was just, he just made an impact to the youth, whether it was good or bad, fuck it, it is what it is, but I feel like his impact, impact was just, and I was like, and I remember you had to stay dangerous shit. And that yeah. just came out, it wasn't too it wasn't too far apart. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't too far apart. But can you remember like your first reaction? I, know, I, fuck, I know you're in the studio recording, you're working, you feel me, you're focused, but like what's your first? Man, I'ma keep it G, bro. I seen this shit, I seen like a tweet, it was just one person, mm -hmm. like right after this shit happened, I wasn't there. I was in the studio, bro. Yeah. You feel me? So I'm like, they saying that this, you know, bullshit just happened. Mm -hmm. I'm telling the homies, like, nah, like, you know, then we all like trying to see what's up. Cause the homies fuck with bro too. So, it, yeah. you know, like, so I was like, nah, you feel me? Then nigga, you start seeing like two, three different things, nigga. And, and I ain't gonna lie, bro. The session was just wasn't a session no more. Like we was more so like, man, what the fuck going on? You yeah, feel well, me? Yeah, you focus then on I, the It was, it was about like 2 a.m. and shit. And I seen the, uh, like, you know, that, you know, bro was gone. And then I was like, you know, I tell the homies, I'm like, hey, bro, I'm gonna keep it G. I don't, I don't even feel like recording. Like, straight up. You, like, uh, feel me? Nigga, LA just lost the icon. So I was just like, uh. Yeah, but that's the type of, that's the type of fucking um, impact he had on the city. You know what I mean? Like, his, the, all the shit he did for the shit and all that shit, it was like, fuck. Yeah. He, so we yeah. both had a mutual friend, but I know he was a really good friend of yours, um, Austin the Pac Man. Yeah, Pac Man, my boy. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about the history when you met Pac Man? How'd you, how'd you meet him, and et cetera, et cetera? Man, I met Pac. How did I meet Pac? Oh man, I met Pac because uh, my nigga was trapping back in the day. Yeah, we was both super was, trapping. Yeah, super. So we was <laughs> both on that shit. You know, I had a his contact just came across, fool. Like hit him. So I'm like, all right, say less, nigga. I hit bro. We started doing business together, you know, and um, and it was just on some street shit at first, you know. We was just doing business. He pull up, and I, I remember, man. Sometimes I was broke, nigga. Like, bro would front me, you know. He would really front me and shit. Like, hey, you know, do this. Just keep that. Give me this, you know. And I'd be like, <coughs> appreciative. Yeah. And then um, I was in and out the halls, fool. So like, I was fucking around with the rapping. So anybody who was uh recording or whatever, I'd be like, man, let me come, you know, let me come record something. And um, Pac was also like, hey, nigga, like, I, you know, I'll be rapping too. Like, you feel me? I'm yeah. like, where, nigga? Like, I, where, fool? You know, like, they, I'm with you F always, and I've never seen you rap. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, fool. Like, you know, I don't know you for how long? And then he's just like, nah, come on, bro. So we end up pulling up to one of the homies' house. Bro, we literally, but I'm talking about, like, we ain't had shit, bro. We was just, you know, I ain't had shit. 
we was just dug in, rapping, nigga. And like we had a bottle, nigga. We had a whole lot of game, nigga. We was just coked out, nigga. You feel me? Like, oh God, I'm gonna keep it G. Yeah, nah, talk your shit. Yeah, we was just, you know, going up, rapping and shit. And then I remember I recorded the felon, the felon song. I don't know if you heard it. It's like one of my most played ones. And then like if you hear it closely, he in the ad libs, he in the back, like, whoo, like, yeah, like, oh God. And then he recorded some shit, bro. And then after that, you know, I got another homie, Bankroll Baby and shit. Yeah. I was all like, um, we all we like, let's book a studio, fool. Let's just, you know, chip in and book a studio, book a nigga. Studio. We in like Chatsworth, nigga. Like Chatsworth area. Well fuck valley. Oh yeah, like we find a we find a nice little studio, you feel me? It was yeah. like some some white fool. I don't know, I don't know how Pac knew him. But um, you know, he's like, Yeah, y'all come through to the studio. Probably told us facts so 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 nice studio fool i'm talking it's nice niggas to this day Later. one of the nicest i've been into okay. you feel me and i done been into a lot and then like we in there bro we call the homies we just so now we just in the booth like and then i'm like yeah i'll be trapping i'll be serving i'll be trapping out you know and then pack just start the baby start gassing pack start gassing we're like bro let's go record that shit let's go record that shit you oh, feel me legendary. bro we in there i'm talking about just young and turn off of drugs, nigga. And then we like, man, that shit hard. We like, let's shoot it, fool. You know, we in the valley and shit. We got a, a cameraman. We we just fucked up. We pouring up, nigga. We got blowers. Barber we shops. hit we hit barbershops. We hit Don Cucos, fool. You know, you hit Don Cucos in the valley. I haven't. Go check it out, homie. Gas. Best tacos, yeah. Okay, so okay. so we we go, fool. We we just shooting. And I swear, we just like we gonna drop it. You feel me? Fuck it. I, bro, I seen that shit start doing like it did a thousand in a day. I got. I was like, oh, I'm up. I was like, man, I'm up. <laughs> I remember I was showing my baby mama. I was like, I'm up. It's over. And you know, I'm a rapper now. You feel mm -hmm. me? Then that shit hit 10k, nigga. I'm super a rapper. Yeah, 20k, 50k, 100, 500, bro. And then at that point, like niggas would be outside, like, oh, Bravo, oh, Pac Man, oh, baby. You feel me? So it was just like, oh shit. So I ran with that shit, yeah, homie. I'm like a I fucking, I got, you know, I ran with it, nigga. I, I ran with it. So that's what happened. And, um, man, we we was been homies for some years, nigga. I'm talking about we was living together. Nigga, I ain't had places to stay. I was getting into bullshit. He let me come stay with him. We are going to stay at a homie's house, sleeping on the floor. We were just, you know, trapping, yeah. nigga. And um, rap shit, you know, rap shit, I ain't going to lie, bro. It was like a blessing and a curse, but that shit kind of came between us. So. Yeah, I was gonna, cause when I met him, when I met him, um, one, he's like one of the most happiest souls I've ever met. Oh God! And the first time I met him, he was just, and I just fucked with his music. I did a whole video to his music of me just laughing. He has it posted on his page to this day, um, and we're just clowning and laughing. And I was like, um, I was doing, some, I was working at Polo Loco when I met bro, no cap. Yeah. And he was just always a happy soul, laughing, smiling. He was. And then he he did the video where he went kind of viral for um he had the drum on him and he was bumping party in the USA. Oh God, that shit was <laughs> stupid. And he was bumping that shit. And I remember I was like, bro, this dude has to be one of the most funniest persons I've ever seen online. And I, I remember I did a video of me like dancing to one of my older senora coworkers. And I was yeah. dancing to um to um fuck, was that ice? No, it was an ice cream. It was another song. I have it on my phone. I'm just can't think about it right now. But I'm singing to that shit, and he reposted it, and then I was like, hey, Pops, let's lock in the interview. I need an interview with you. And he's like, I'm up there. I'm up there. And what's crazy, oh God. And what's crazy is that um, I went live with him, and the and the girl he pulled up with, she saw him on, on my live. Yeah. So he was. I was like, how'd you guys meet? They're like, because of your live. And I was like, that's a back, that's a back match shit. Oh, God. That's crazy. Yeah, so literally. I went live with the homie without meeting him at first. And they met through like a live, they met through like my live or whatever. So I thought that was like funny as fuck, but we're chilling. And then I interviewed him. I was blessed to interview him. We had laughs. We talked about the crazy shit. You was like shit. his last interview. I was his only interview. That's crazy. I was his only interview. And the week I was supposed to drop it, me and him having a conversation, he passed away. Indeed. And I remember like reaching out to his people and being like, is it okay? I, like I, I, I said, I'm not these motherfuckers. I don't have to drop that. I, I would have kept that shit to myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like that shit was just legendary. Like me and me and me and Pag really had a legendary fucking podcast where we talked about so many things. We laughed. He, when I was just starting my career, he was 
telling me like off camera, he was telling me about the deals he had coming, people were offering, and I was just we were genuinely excited for each other. He drove to me, he had it stick all out. He pulled up, he was chilling, vibing. And that was the last time I got to talk to him and we, we had a dope interview. But I remember when I when I seen the shit that he passed away, it just it blew my mind because me being part of his life just so so such a little time, but already had a great and amazing relationship. It was just a vibe. He, the homie was always happy, laughing, smiling. Um, that shit hurt me, so I can only imagine. Can you can you remember like your emotions when you found out? I know there was a fallout, yeah. but can you imagine? Can can you remember why it was like fuck, bro? Nah, it was a fallout for sure, bro. I ain't gonna lie, yeah, yeah. you know. And uh, and nigga, you know, we young. I was young, nigga. You know, pride gets in the way of a lot of things, and um, it was just. And then the raps, fans, bro. I'm gonna tell you like this, man. Fans do not give a fuck if you dead in jail. Beef it like you know they just gonna instigate like and that's what 100%. fans that's what fans was doing. I remember you know I remember I was about to watch a movie for I'm in like Burbank and shit at the theater and then um the homie Remy called me and he's like hey bro because he knew he knew what it was like you know like we was but this third and friend was mutual to both of you guys yeah like he never chose sides and shit yeah, you feel yeah. me and he and he knew to call me though he knew I wouldn't you know and yeah. I'm like. Like, hey, nigga, you know, he like, I'm like, what's up? He's like, man, Austin, man, Austin just, you know, just died. I'm like, what you mean? He was like, nigga, died. I was like, all right, bros, I'm going to hit you back. I'm like, nigga, I'm, I'm like, I don't know how to feel, fool. Yes. You feel me? I didn't even know how to feel. I'm like, fool, I can't even tell you what movie I watched that day because I wasn't, I wasn't watching it. I was just in you my You were class. like. Yeah, bro, and then. I remember I was just like, man, fuck all that shit, man. I end up, long story short, bro, my nigga needed a funeral mm-hmm. and nobody was, nobody was doing nothing for him, yeah. you know? And that's where you see all, where all your homies at, nigga. Yeah. So I'm like, man, I could call his mama, nigga. I'm like, man, you going to the funeral home on everything, you know, we finna, whatever, we gonna get it done, bro. We went to the funeral home, we signed some papers. I seen my nigga, I seen him for the last time. And um, we got his funeral done within a week. You know what I mean? And yeah, nah, nah, yeah. I, I know he would have appreciated that more than anything. Oh, so. I remember um, I seen a post like, let me do no GoFundMe for my nigga. My nigga ain't do no GoFundMe. Oh, God. Like, I was like, he used to put and, niggas and, and, on GoFundMe. Yeah, yeah. And, and I thought it was the funniest thing because I know the homie RIP, but I was like, you niggas is fools because I could imagine him saying that. Like, Pac Man was that type of fool. Like, yeah, don't put me on GoFundMe. You know his, 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 go his squeaky me. voice, like, yeah, don't put me on GoFundMe. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. And I was yeah. like, fucking pack, fool. But nah, yes. knowing that, knowing that, um, are you at peace that you guys weren't at your best terms, but you were able to do that for his family? You mm, know that he I'll like, never be at peace. Bro. Never? Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's some shit that it just, like, you know, I, you know, that's some shit that it, you know, I yeah. think it should never be at peace about. You feel me? But that's a lesson learned, right? Like yeah. you feel like you feel like, let's say the situation was now and you guys weren't talking. Would you feel like you would try to amend things? What you mean? Like make things go back to where you guys were. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, nigga. Yeah, like yeah. he would. It was some people that he was close to. Like I'm talking about weeks within his death, and they was hitting me, and they was like, "Fool, I ain't gonna lie, nigga." Pack used to talk about you. He used to be like, "How bad he just wanted to just nigga sit down with you." Sit down, have a conversation on everything. And, and and I ain't gonna lie, fool. After he died, I'm like looking, nigga. I go on his page and he hit me right before he died, nigga. He was like, tap in. I'm like, damn. Damn, I have the similar, I have like a really similar story. I'll put my homie Julio. Um, he was going through a lot of drug problems and shit. And it was just the homie was going through it, you know what I mean? He was, but I'm so busy. I'm so busy doing what I do that I can't focus or I can't bring a certain homie everywhere because, you know, like, at the end of the day, what we do is our job. This is how we feed our family. Facts, bro. So if somebody's going to not not necessarily fuck up, but you know, if they just maybe not at the right time, at the right place to be around, it just happens that you can't bring them around. It's like survival guilt. Yeah. And that's definitely what I've had. But I but I could honestly 100% feel how you feel, fool, because it just, we didn't have a fallout, but we were just, we weren't on, like, you know what I mean? Like, it was just like, I was really busy and he was doing this thing, you know? Yeah, I mean? you, just, yeah you just never get to say what you 
fuck you had on your chest type shit. Yes, sir. Nah, Let's go to a though. more little, little uplifting topic. Yeah, RP Stay. homies though. RP Drake or RP Pac-Man. Yes, sir. RP Drake, RP Pac-Man. Stay dangerous. One of the most bangers in LA, you feel me? Got the host twerking on my... I ain't gonna lie. I done f to stay dangerous. You no, lie. Okay. I ain't lying. I ain't never lie. Yeah. Let me see lie. a video. You Of me fucking bitches? To stay uh, dangerous. To stay dangerous? I'm gonna send you a video tonight. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he said he gonna send me a video tonight. Do you fuck Hey, Zay, bro, you? take a shot. Well, you gotta take a shot. Come take a shot, bro. You gotta He's take like, a shot. He's like, fuck you. I ain't wanna take no shot. <laughs> He's over you. Have, do you fuck bitches to your own music? Do I what? Do you do do you do the the, the, the little jingy majingy to your own music? Uh, here, here you go. My nigga Zay, yeah. Uh, yeah, man, for sure. I remember, yeah, when I was first, now I don't, but when I was first coming up, I tried to put it on while I was fucking. But that shit was lagging because it was on SoundCloud? No, 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 it was good. <laughs> hey, I ain't going to lie, look. I used to be playing, like, nigga, like, all types of big artists. Now, yeah. I just slip my shit in there, just see if they notice. You feel me? Yeah. Nigga, you know, I ain't notice, you feel me? I was, I was like, my shit go, you feel me? Like, you know, it could slip, it could be in the playlist. You feel me? So I was, yeah. It was cold outside. Oh God, oh my mama, I ain't have no Jimmy. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, bro. I gotta start fucking bitches on my skits, huh? Uh, that's, Yeah, you should, bro, but now, I, yeah, for sure, come on. <laughs> come on, man, you have to, This was probably wild. <laughs> Have you ever made a song? How, how many times have you told one person that the song was for them? Bro, only once, bro. I don't only be one. making songs for bitches. No? No, I don't be making songs for bitches. I don't be making songs for nobody. It's just, you know. I only You're full once, of shit. Only once, though. I, I, on God. On God. Only once. Are you a romantic type of person? Yeah, I'm a romantic nigga on everything. What's the most romantic shit you've done? I done did a lot of romantic shit. My Give brother. me one. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Book a little getaway trip. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, okay, you know what I'm saying? Shit. You know, Spencer. Shit. Nowhere crazy, nigga. <laughs> we went to Malibu. Nah. <laughs> he drove 20 minutes away talking about a little. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey to a nigga like me, the uh, shit. What you saying? I, I'm just saying a getaway is a getaway. I ain't, I ain't hating on it. I ain't but- gonna. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't even got away yet. I ain't never got a vacation. You feel me? Like, see. Are getting away like the homies, nigga. It's like, psh, nigga, horny. Like, not nah, yeah, but it's like, <laughs> but it's yeah for sure. But it's like, nigga, like we don't see shit, we don't know shit, you know. Yeah. So like when I first, you know, like, hey, we finna go to Malibu. I rent this place out, you know. Don't worry about nothing. Just relax. We here for three days. You know Ooh. what I'm saying? We eat whatever you want. Roses you know? petals on the way to walk into the hotel room? All that. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, come on. I, I'm gonna keep, hey, look, bro. I ain't no trick, nigga. But, you yeah, know, but. hey. <laughs> you feel me? I ain't no trick. Hey, Zay. I ain't no trick, but. Yeah, a little trick. Yeah. yeah. I, I ain't, it, it, the pussy good. Yeah, that should you know? change your life, huh? If it's good, I'm going a, I'm to a bless some. I'm gonna take care of you. Fancy you feel dinner, me? some cash. <laughs> hey, what's the most? What, what do you think is the most? Um, what's something that you feel like you'll never do until you felt love for the first time? Uh, to me. Like I don't know. Maybe you like. Like what? Like like give me an example, you, my boy. Like you fucking sucked the wall because you were mad. She got you mad. Nah, you I never do that. Like, Ugh, bitch, I love you. Uh. Well, I don't know, maybe, like, buy her a car? Ooh. I mean, I don't buy the bitch shit, for sure. I don't buy, you know? You never buy, you never buy a girl a car? I feel like, yeah, you have, yeah, you have. Nah, I'll You're probably, a liar I'll probably, right I'll, now, probably I'll probably make a payment on that, bro. You mean a payment You mean? I'll probably make a payment. Nah, I don't, shit, I buy bags, though, for bitches, nigga, like, I'm, you know. I'm, you like a Louis bag getter? Nah, I'll get you there. The uh, YSL, you feel Ooh. me? I get you a YSL, you know. I should Louis too. Ooh. All that if the pussy good, if it's it was cool, it was cool. You feel me? How what was the most you spent on one mall trip on a girl? I right, on a girl, <clears throat> on my probably on my baby mama fool. I don't, I don't. That's man. different though. That's like the love of your, you know what I mean? That's the mother. Then nothing, kid. nigga. I don't, <laughs> I don't do that. You feel me? On a mall trip by myself though. 
For sure, nigga. I be blowing it. Before the kid and the love life, do you, if they come kick it, do you Uber them or you or you Uber them home? Both. Uber them there and Uber them back. Yeah. The fuck out of here. Yeah. It's a quick turnaround. For, do they ever <laughs> sleep over? Nah, I, no. You're lying, bro. What you talk? What do you, I look like? You nigga? never let them sleep over, not once. Oh, it was just too good. It put your memes. You I'm not. Sleep. Yeah, I'm not that, bro. I'm not that. I, I don't feel comfortable sleeping around nobody. You feel me? Okay. Like, you feel me? Like shit. I barely even feel comfortable sleeping around the homies. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> just cause niggas be, you know, we be playing a lot. You yeah, feel yeah, me? yeah. I really, yeah, shit be crazy. Damn, Uber them right back. How the much you spent on an Uber? All over the trip. Shit, not a lot, maybe like 50. Yeah, where they come from, San Diego? <laughs> nah, San Diego would be like 200. I'm gonna keep it a bug. I Uber 200 them, Uber from San Diego. I'm gonna keep it a bug. I met this bitch at the club, took it to the pad, and then she was, I was like, where he lives? She's like, San Bernardino. Damn. And I was like, I live like LA, LA. So oh, God. I, so I was like, <laughs> I was just give me your address. The Uber was like 70 high, it's almost 80. And I was like, oh yeah, you gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh god. I make money now, get the fuck out, bitch. But if you wait like till it's like no traffic and shit, yeah, yeah. It'll be cheaper. Oh, then so you had to wait till the till it was cheaper. Yeah, you could wait a little bit, you <laughs> feel me? Kick it for like 10 minutes. You feel me? Oh, Uber god. Pull, Uber shit. pull the bitch. Oh, my. We're gonna be in there with two different motherfuckers. Damn, the, the trip turns from 45 minutes to two hours. I was like, that shit was cool. That shit was cool. Unless it was fire, you got the regular one. But you can't even do Uber pulling out. Cause the I Uber black a bitch. <laughs> you feel me? If it's yeah. fire, you know what I'm saying? Uber, Uber <laughs> black a bitch? That is crazy. I sent a bitch a Sprinter van. Ooh. No, I'm fucking with you. I'm no, popping it. I'm popping no, it. I'm popping it. I'm popping it. Uber, Uber black, though, for sure. You know? Like Uber black, you know? You be like, you be like, hey, baby, your Uber outside. She looking for She looking for a, she for, a little for Prius. She, for she looking for a Prius. She knows an Escalade. Coming. It's an Escalade. Yeah, it's an bitch. S550, bitch. Yeah, you get it. When you walk <laughs> in, you better be naked, bitch. Yeah. What's the most player line you've ever seen in one of your bars? All my shit player. Nah, man. nah, give me one. I heard some bullshit before. Ah, don't do that. <laughs> give me one. Yeah, give me one when you were like, oh, this for the bitches. It's on my, it's on my album, bro. My album, yeah. Oh, I, give it to me. I said I might trick on a pussy if I like it. You feel oh, me? That's not a player. You being a trick. Nah, hey, what the fuck? <laughs> if I like it though, a trick gonna trick on anything, nigga. You know, that's I don't, facts. You know, a trick on tricks is thirsty, nigga. Ah, you won't catch me tricking on nothing. Only if you know you really like that, you know. Fuck, are you a double texter? If she fired, I don't double text. You, know? you ain't never double text no bitch, you bro. <laughs> Maybe when I was like. Before 15, you were know me? Like 15, 16, I'm, you know? Nah, nah, no. Man, I be tripping on bitches. Bitch, For where real? you at? Not like crazy, I ain't blowing the bitch up, but like, I'll send a little reminder, like, bitch, you know who the fuck you fucking with? I'm who? a star, bitch. Who? Me. Who? Who, who, what? Big do not. The big shack. <laughs> yeah, stupid. Bitch, I'm a fucking, better reply, bitch. Nah, I'm, I don't be tripping, bro. You know? No. Like, it is what it is. When you was younger, you used to be like, I had phones. I when I was younger, I don't want my mama, you know, hey, bitch, what the fuck? You broke phones before? I done did all that. When bitch, I was fuck younger, your phone. When I was younger, bro. You know, <laughs> grab a bitch by her neck, all that. Oh shit! Not, not on no abusive shit. Oh, oh, oh on some, some sexy freaky? shit. Oh, okay, you I'm like, God damn. <laughs> they look like you like, hold up, dude. No, we got to cut this part. Oh, out. oh god, oh god, yeah. Man, are you a spit in the mouth type of motherfucker? <sighs> Noogie in your mouth. Bitch. I don't like that, bro. Are you? Weak? I'm gonna keep it G. I'm gonna keep it. No, I I'll spit in the bitch mouth, bro. But I would never let a bitch spit in my mouth. Oh, mine. duh. I was, I was talking about you spitting in the mouth. I would hope you wouldn't let no girl spit in your mouth. I spit on a bitch forehead. Bro. Oh, damn. You know and, then, and, and then do the cross. All that. Yeah. What about you? For you, a booty eater. You a booty. All right, look, I'm gonna keep nasty. it. Nasty. I know you nasty. Why you ask this shit to everybody in his interviews? I, I I was watching your interviews, bro. He asked this shit to everybody. What do you mean? I gotta know. Hey, take I'm, a shot, my boy. I'm uh, damn. Take a shot. You gotta go to a party after I come out. Cheers. So what? Cheers, cheers. Let me see. Hold on. Let me do two. I got more than you. Okay, okay. That's cool. That's cool. Cheers, cheers. Real <laughs> niggas eat booty. You know what I'm saying? We I'm, just gonna leave it. We gonna leave yeah, it leave it like, it like yeah. that. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it a bug. I barely ate ass for the first time not so long ago. When? How'd it happen? Arizona. That's what happened. That's how it happened. 
I know. I I just know you ain't go eat no random bitch booty. You do know. <laughs> Cause, Cause he said Arizona. That's what happened. What you mean? Yo, I'm gonna lie to you. I'm gonna keep it all. Keep way. that I'm shit a thousand with a me. A thousand with you, a bro. Mill. The bitch was random vibes. Random. Horneado vibes. Just, just know horny boys Damn. activated. Just know I was lit. Just know I woke up the next morning, butt naked, and I was like, "What happened?" She was like, "Good morning." I was like, "Lying." <gasps> That's real shit. That's like, I, man, I, when you woke up, was you like? I am straight. It was like, damn, why'd I do that? <laughs> no, keep, I it woke, G, keep it G, keep it G, keep it. Cause, cause nigga, Man, like, niggas will tell you, but. I woke up and I woke up and I was like, cause I knew I ate the ass, but I was like, in my head, I was like, damn, I didn't do it to a bitch I love. Now she gonna feel hella important. You know what <laughs> I mean? like, that was your like, first time eating ass? Yeah. On a random? On a random. Damn. Am I you, weird for that? I ain't gonna lie, my boy. You look, you know what I'm fucking with you. You look weird. No, no, I'm, that, 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 it's all good. Weird. It's all good. You know that's how you get out. Yeah, I'm not really fuck you. Like, I'm, just, <laughs> yeah. that. I'm just saying, like, I just went through a lot. You feel me? That night, like, hella 1942, hella Casamigos. Shout out. You feel me? The homies that booked me out there, they got me lit. They was like, you in Arizona? You in? I think it was Glendale, Arizona, if I'm not mistaken. Sold out, sold out events. They booked me out there. And they got me just super ho- extra horny vibes, you know what I mean? And I just, I did what I did, and I woke up the next morning. You just ate the ass and went to sleep, were you? No, I think, obviously, we did the... the, the oh, the I was about to say, he said, I did what I did. No, 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 I ate the ass, got a couple little nuts off, you feel me? But I woke up butt naked. For me to wake up butt naked, I was like, God oh, damn. Oh, God, huh. And then, and then I looked over, and she woke up, like, rubbing my head, like, good morning. I was like, oh. I'm in love with you. In love. In love. He broke that tongue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everything. He left his tongue in that motherfucker. Damn. Nah, you crazy, my boy. Yes, sir. Okay, look. Give me top five artists in LA right now. Or top five Latino artists coming up. In order. And you can't include yourself. I'm for sure going to include myself. No, fuck you. You're already yeah, popping. Nah. Okay, I'm not popping. I ain't signed. I ain't, you know, shit. I'm not popping. I'm really, you know, all this shit y'all see is off the... Energy, you feel me? Do know? Yeah, trying to be humble and shit. Talk I'm, your nah, shit, I, I, I gotta talk, talk my your shit. shit. You talk feel your me? shit, cause I'm a fan, fool. Hey. Fuck you. This damn. Talk your, talk your fuck shit. Fuck you. Talk hey, your nah, shit. Nah, check it out. I'm excited for your career. So for sure, me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, Hispanic, right? Yes. Me. Oh God, me. Bravo, the fucking back chaser. Oh God, <laughs> <laughs> nah. Uh, me. I just literally got off FaceTime with a uh, little peso right before I got here. Me too. <laughs> oh, yeah, he was FaceTiming no, you and shit. Yeah, no, no. Three, two, three. He, tell him, I be, I be like, for you, looking at me a little ugly. I think oh, he God, he told me he was buff. A little like, scrawny ass kid. Hey, 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 but you know. Uh, free peso. Free my, free my young nigga for real. So, me, my nigga peso for sure. You know, he, he, he young nigga going crazy. I know you're going to go stupid. Suede. I'm with um, you. Don't lose me. I mean, shit. Oh, I mean, oh, Jeezy been popping though, you know. He's, oh, Jeezy. Oh, know. oh, Jeezy popping. Uh, shit. Mexicans, Latinos. Who else? I'm asking you. Hold on, hold on. So we have four and do know. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Cause look, I'll give you my top five easy. All right, give it to me. Look, man. you. Weirdo, Maro, Sway, Peso. Oh, I mean, shit. San Diego niggas go crazy. I thought we were talking about L.A. I said just Latino in general. I said L.A. Oh, first. Oh, oh, for sure. Nah, hey, I fuck with Lil Maro. He hard. He hard as he fuck. fuck. Hey, and Lil Weirdo, too. The nigga whore. They I hard fuck as fuck. Um, I fuck with the whole San Diego uh, The whole movement. San Diego movement yeah. is different, huh? Yeah, because it's just this shit came out of nowhere. That shit came. Oh, God. And, and it's hard. Yeah, so it's hard. I can't hard, hate right? on that shit. Look, and then I, I want to give props just that we're here chopping it up. You feel me? That whole movement, their slang is, even though they're only two hours away, it's just so different. You know what I mean? Like, nah, I don't think so. Bro, they call bitches feats. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. That's different. They be like, where the feats at? Oh, that's crazy. And Yeah, shout out Siete Gang. I think that's Siete. That's peach shit? That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's just some peach shit. Oh, that's some peach shit? I didn't know that. I just, I've never heard it before. So when I heard, like, um, 
Well, obviously, I fuck a little word on my brother, but you feel me? Like, he told me the slang, like, you know, like, the shit, the gang, y'all be in them. They be like, where my feet? Like, the feet and the toes, like, how many? And I'm like, why do you call bitches feet? I was hella confused, and there was, like, the feet. What's one word that you feel like you made trendy? Uh, bag chaser. Bag chaser. I be seeing in, you that know, sucks. usernames and captions and shit like that, you know? I feel like just bag chaser. I that shit cracking. What a, I feel like it's a few more, but I can, oh, trapping and serving. Like, you feel me? That Like, if you listen if you listen to people's songs, bro, like, a lot of rappers, oh, I was trapping and serving. Oh, I was trapping it. Like, I'm like, I know where that came from. You yeah. feel me? I ain't, you know, it's love. You consider yourself a dad to a lot of these rappers? Talk your shit, bro. Uh, Say for sure. Tips. I'm going to keep it G. Yeah? Not a lot. When you see them, know. do you, like, give me your son? <laughs> Come hey, real quick, way. I seen you do Silent Library with these fools. Ah, yeah. How was that? Fool, you know. I Dude, did you get nut chick by a midget? I seen that shit. You got nut chick by a midget. I want to sock that fool out, dog. <laughs> you know, but but it was it was for a game show, dog. That shit was real. <laughs> hey, it was real. Like, that shit wasn't. Shout out these fools. Oh, my yeah, guys sh- right I there. I fuck with these fools, bro. I fuck with them heavy. <laughs> yeah, I you fuck. You said, Ugh. Oh, bro, you know, little midget, but uh, <laughs> little that midget. shit was, I never do shit like that, like fun shit. I love that, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to, bro. I'm trying to get out of my little box and shit and just, like, interviews. I hate, I even hate just sitting down and being you. on Thank camera. You. Thank you for coming for me because I got. Like, so. I know when you was hitting me, I was like, damn, bro, I fuck with you, fool. Yeah, like, no, no, of course, 100%. But it's just like, nigga, I'm not that type of. But, but also, of. I understand. I love that you, you're a lot of your Like, me seeing that made me so happy. Because I was like, I know Bravo, you know, to a certain extent where I know he's like, uh, you know, he Bravo, you you Bravo don't go to the club. I don't. Bravo, I don't think he liked the club. He at home, he's chilling. What's your favorite video game? Two K and Madden. Warzone, I ain't gonna lie, Warzone. man. I don't I don't play video games. I bought a PS Five like two years ago. That shit catching dust. Like you I might love you. I'll give it to you. I don't give a fuck. Ooh, like literally. Okay. I remember we donated to the we, office. We, we was playing like 2K, like yeah, on oh God. And he gave up. He yeah, yeah, garbage. Yeah. Oh, I was playing him 2K at the one office. I know he went my ass too. Who? Oh, you was playing him? Yeah, I was playing him. He's too good. You, you a low life, huh? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nice. Oh, now. I got the game. I'm focused. Nah, for give sure. Me, give me one thing people don't know about Bravo that people. Should know about Bravo. I'm a, like, I'm a they, family man, homie. You feel me? I'm a, yeah. I'm a great father. Very orientated. Yeah, I take care of my responsibilities, bro. You feel me? Yeah, I, I used to uh, not be like that, but life hits you. You start growing up, nigga. Yeah, that's Bills. beautiful. My son just turned one. You know that shit. I ain't have like my dad the whole time. I was growing up, so yeah. so uh, so I want to be there for my boy. Most, so, you know, that's so that's some. Um, and for even that song with you, Cypress, and Rucci, I think that was like, it was like a weird, like, Cypress just had his kid, Rucci just had his, and then you had yours. It was, yeah, yeah, they like two, they close in age. Like, me and Rucci kid, like, I think like two weeks or something apart, mm. or like a month, you know? And yeah. then Cypress is a little younger. Cypress is a little younger, yeah, yeah. yeah little. That's crazy. That's, that's dope, though. It's amazing. And that's beautiful, but give me one thing. I don't know, maybe you like ASMR. What's that? You don't know what ASMR is? No. Oh my God. What is that, my boy? Do, do you have trouble sleeping? I do. Okay, so you you might fuck with some ASMR like the. You should try it, pops. Nah, nigga, I just be taking uh, melatonin. Don't take. You don't have to take. <laughs> oh God, nigga. You don't gotta take melatonin. I take asshole. melatonin. You maybe you need like some type of relaxation in your mind. My mom put me up on this, no cap, because I have trouble sleeping. My son got the, like the noises. Like the little, like the My little son got the white machine, the shh. No, maybe you don't need that because you're not a baby, but maybe you need like the. <laughs> that nigga said like, you're not a baby. <laughs> I know grown niggas that use that shit, though. You plan on getting married, fool? I hope so, shit, one day. You wanna get married? Can I be one of your groomsmen when you get married? You wanna be my best man, homie. <laughs> this ain't hot right now. You can finna rest me. I got too many problems. When you when you made that song, what were you going through? The hardest point in my life, bro. Oh shit, my boy. I I used to. Ask titties. 
Hold on, wait, wait, come here, come here. Pops and titty. Oh, yeah, man. I gotta put you on, Pops. I was going to the hardest point of my life, my boy. You know, uh, nigga, I, I was, bro, a lot of shit I don't remember recording. I was off Zans a lot. I, I used to be off pills. Are you done with that? I'm, I'm done, fool. I'm like two years, almost two years. Oh, I love that for you, because I remember when I first met you, you was a little wild. I, I always take a couple perks and drink alcohol. Did you? Yes, and I was like, ooh. Where at? The studio. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was tripping. I mean, shit, bro. You know, I, you just gotta learn how to uh, control your, your you know, yo, nah, just control yourself type shit. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like I remember, I was how I was moving. It's shit crazy now. Shit different. So you gotta move different. Can you remember what was maybe? Was there ever a time where you wanted to quit rap? I know you've been through so much, right? You've been through a lot emotionally, oh, shit. maybe physically. But can you remember was one time that? You were like, man, this shit not really worth it. Bro, all the time. All the time. All the time. I be like, <clears throat> I'm trying to find, you know, uh, other shit to do, bro. Just because rap rapping cool and shit, but I don't want to be no fucking rapper for the rest of my life. I don't want to be rapping. I want to be rapping a few years from now, bro. Five years. I'm 21, bro. By the time I'm 25, I'm trying to be done with this shit. Have my money somewhere else working for me. You feel me? So, uh... I'm just using this shit as a as a gateway to more opportunities, bro. Feel me? Is there like a bar with a bag chaser label coming? I'm gonna be honest, bro. I would love. I mean, we got breaking ENT already. We planted on it. Feel me? My brother, uh, my boy, baby, and shit. Um, I would love to have a. Have, you know, I would love to have a lot of more artists and shit. Yeah. But it's just, I gotta fuck with you for real. Yeah, you, know. you gotta, I mean, there's gotta be a real, like... Connection. It has to be genuine, but, like, you also gotta think about it, right? Like how you're saying, like, in a couple years, you wanna be done. Like, in a couple years, I'm thinking when you're saying that, right, let's just say record label-wise, like, you're CEO, you don't really gotta worry about the shit. You gotta have a good team around you. Like, even if you generally don't like that prince's music, what if they're... Okay, example, right? What if there's the hottest country country rapper out of L.A. coming? I'm on it. Signing him. What you want? How much you want? Country row. Oh, everything. You feel me? Take me home. I, I get your ass a bag. And there ain't no country music coming out of LA. You know, that shit, you know, but I would, yeah, maybe one day, fool, you know? What about real estate? What's your, what, what's your take on real estate? I'm actually going to be going to um, going to Tulum and uh, fly out of Carmen soon because I'm looking to buy some land, uh, some some houses out there, yeah. so. You get an Airbnb them shit to make all your money back. Yeah, and be rich. yeah, and have a vacation home. Yeah, so I'm gonna make that trip out there. I got real estate agents out there. We've been, we've been back on this, on this shit for months. So okay. it's it's a, I'm I'm working, bro. I, like music ain't all I got going. Uh, I love that for you. Stupidest thing you've ever done with money. All this nigga, like it's cool, but you know, it's, it's just my <laughs> image, bro. Like I, I feel it, yeah. But that's the stupidest. Yeah, I be looking at this shit like, damn. Like dumbass. I, yeah, not dumbass, but like, <laughs> should I just, you know? But nah, I mean, I ain't hurting, so I, I, you know, I'll keep it on me. But jewelry, stupid, bro. But it help y'all as a rapper. Feel okay, me? I see what you're saying. Um, stupidest purchase you made other than 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 that like was something that you buy and you were like ah, i just had money this time and i didn't have money before. we be at sections nigga like you feel me and just you know how the bottles be at sections nigga you get like a bottle or two 400 for like it'd be like a band 1500 for like two bottles and yeah i remember um yeah we was just going crazy at a certain point going dumb funniest drunk moment ever Bro, I got a video of it. It's me and Pac-Man and shit. We we just in the trap house. I'm, I'm, I'm like falling over and shit. I'm drunk as fuck. He just recorded me and shit. Like, oh, you little dumbass fool. I'm like, oh, you feel me? I'm in the tub, tripping. In the tub? I'm in, bro, I'm what a, was you drinking? Four local dumbass? Nah, Hennessy, homie. You know before this shit, I was off the Hennessy. You bro, know that. I met him, he used to love dog water. Oh, God. Duce, Hennessy. Ugh, that's fucking disgusting, bro. You, I got off that you shit. You act like bro. you never drank that no, shit. No, I, I, bro, when I was like racking in on juvenile hall and shit like that, doing stupid shit, 
E and J was my thing. Oh, no. Nah, that that Eastside Juice. Evil Juice will fuck you up. I'm straight off that. I was, I was, nah, when I was racking, I was drinking like ODs and you 40s, mean, Mickey's, ooh, 211s and shit. Funny as hard, juvenile hard story. You were at Sylmar, right? Yeah, Sylmar. Um, funny as juvenile hard story. Let me think. It's not really nothing funny going on in there, yeah. nah. I've seen a lot of funny shit in the hall. I mean, I, I mean, what you mean by funny like, shit? Like, just funny shit. Like, I didn't see, like... I mean, I done seen funny ass fades and shit like that. Yeah, I done seen funny fades. You feel me? But I mean, shit, nigga, I wasn't in there. Yeah. You know, it wasn't fun. I was in there hot too, though. Oh I was, God, I was camp like, oh, get me home for sure, bro. You know that should be whack. That should be so going to whack. court. Oh yeah, come back in two months. Come back in three months. Yeah. Yeah, you remember that? You remember Just, that shit? Searches me now. Oh God, I remember that. that. Like, bro, people don't understand. Obviously. Prison and county is way it's a whole different level. You different, know, you know, people who ever made it out of that salute to you guys, but like, juvenile hall is still uh, uh, extremely frustrating. Like being in a room by yourself, hella jacked. I feel off. like now, it's like back then it used to be turn. Yeah, when it I was in the hall, it was lit. Turn, I'm talking about turn. I feel like now, it, you know, I got young homies in there, it, like shit turned down. Nah, I seen, I seen, I, I fuck, I've definitely heard that before. But I remember I was in the hall, they were having like. Little riots and shit at Eastleigh. Yeah, oh god, they were trying to do that race shit on everything. They was on some shit. Over they there. was on everything. They was on some shit over there. Free my brother though, man. A regular for your brother, regular hot Cheetos or lemon hot Cheetos. Regular Cheetos, regular ones. Regular ones. Yeah. Favorite R and B artist. Um, R and B. Alicia Keys, Ashanti. Okay. Um. I'm talking about your two quarters in no fucking r &B. Nah, I just don't know, you know, where they fall at. She <laughs> R&B. Like, <laughs> hey, fool, oh, R&B. I don't be listening to R&B. I, what does Bravo the Back Chaser listen to? Because the fact that you, don't, don't tell me you only listen to hip-hop, because then that is a problem. I don't. I for sure don't, fool. Like, I, I got, I listen to everything, everybody type shit. You, you fuck with Bad Bunny? Oh, my son, bro. I never listened to one of his songs. Get the fuck out of here, bro. On oh, my son, the fuck bro. Fuck is wrong with you? I heard it on TikTok. I mean, Give shit. Me on thoughts. He think I'm a what? I see, I've heard it on TikTok. I've never gone and been like, oh, let me hear this shit. But I mean, I know he the shit, though. But you're not fucking with, you never like, you don't have a song on your playlist? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, my what son. What do you work out to? Fool, I work out, I got the playlist right here. You want to see it? Let me see that shit. Better not be no problem with the bag chase. All, the whole yeah, all, right, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got the play. Stay Dangerous is one of my workout songs. Is it? We got to get that We gotta get that workout in for the culture. Yeah. Hold on. I was like, what you want to see? Hold on. All right, so it'd be like, you know, Pops Mustard, that, that project he dropped. Ooh, NBA. I didn't even say to me. Oh, you know, Draco, Roddy, Koi, Rucci, fucking... Kendrick, that's it. Bro. I ain't gonna lie, your shit kind of weak compared. I, li I listen to the same shit. I'm not a, you know, I don't be listening to. Music you wanna see like my, that. you wanna see my shit? My shit kind of like super everywhere. No cap, my, my fucking, my gym shit is like J Cole, Drake, fucking Nipsey, Mozzie, Shabby the Third, Larry June, Merz, Kanye. I Lord. fuck with a lot of them, bro, but I just never took the time on my day. Be like, let me add this to the playlist. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. But I ain't gonna lie, you know who's who's, who's Top favorite to work out with, I mean, to work out to, Mac Miller. Oh, for real? Mac Miller is one of my favorite artists cause, because it's mellow, but it's also the shit he's rapping about is like hard, like top tier. Boom, boom, boom. What songs you be listening to? Mac Miller, um, Back in the Day, um, uh, uh, Oh, I'll Be There, Best Day Ever, and Nike's on My Feet, Frozen Pizza, you feel me? Is it Pizza or Frozen Pizza? Frozen pizza. It's frozen pizza, right? Oh, you were just saying pizza. Oh, I'm like, he hungry. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Kool-Aid Kool and frozen pizza. That's my shit. Stay dangerous. Um, I, 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 I bump stay dangerous all the time when I'm working out. You know when I do when I'm I don't believe cardio, you, fool. When I do the slant. Let me see it in your playlist. You know the slant? Uh, he, look, he don't got it in his playlist. Nigga capping. No, because see, because no, 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 yeah. no, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Nah, He's a homie, bro. so I can look up his song. Other nah, people like bro. Mac Miller, I don't listen to Mac Miller every day. So I got to have it in my playlist to know. 
but you, I see you constantly. Like I know, I know when to bump. It's kind of like you know, I don't crazy. have, I don't have any shoreline shit on my playlist. But I know when I want to put a song. There's a lot of homies like Rucci. I don't have um. Um, you gotta have us on your playlist, you know, though, bro. No, but I could just I constantly listen to you. I could look it up and just listen. Yeah. Mac Miller, I just gotta constantly remind myself that this is one of my favorite songs. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of rappers like that, like the homie Eddie Zuko. He upcoming. I feel like you and him should do some shit. He like the Mexican Mac Miller. Mm. No cap, Poppy just sold out the Echo Plex. He's fire, but he does a lot of soulful Latino. He has a lot of dope songs. I'll show you some shit outside the camera, but like, he he got a lot of shit that I gotta put on my playlist because. Usually I'm listening to like, you feel me? Like the you guys, the little Mara, the suede. I listen, I listen to a lot of suede. Yeah. Suede is like my top, like out of LA or just in general from all the homies. You from all the homies? Suede is like somebody I'm every day just fucking bumping. Like I'm bumping this every day because generally it's just he's just one of my favorite artists. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But all the homies like little weirdo. I don't have to put him on my playlist because I know if I want to look for something I'm like I'm a little weirdo. It's the same thing with you. You know what I mean? Yeah. So nah, it's just like you. that. Don't play me like that. No nah, shit. Don't look, your shit, shit, asshole. Shit, you gave me a big ass explanation. <laughs> you, know I mean? you feel me? This is my dog. I fuck with him. He was trying to make it seem like I don't fuck with him. Like I fuck with Bravo. He oh, just shit. busy and touring and got too many followers. That don't have nothing to do with me being on your playlist, dude. <laughs> no. I bump your shit all the time. Yeah. What's your favorite bar? Favorite bar? Damn. Damn. Man. God is ass on everything. Uh, Put this shit on the internet. I'm putting it on the internet all the way. I think it was that bar I made the skit to. Which one? It was called Outside. Mm, that was that shit right there. Changed my life. I was broke as fuck. <laughs> and I was like, this bar was talking to some shit. He in a man, he in a man, he in a phone booth that looked like Harry Potter. Oh. Ooh. Nah. Where'd yeah. you find that phone booth at? Oh, the phone. It was just some shit in downtown LA. <laughs> you feel me? We just uh, we was just shooting and shit. You, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, you know, Pierce Place and shit like that. Yeah. Top five restaurants in the valley. In the valley? So, I know yeah, you said shit, Don food, Yeah, I was about to say, food trucks count. Don Cucos, Teppanyaki. What else? Fool, I fuck with Gayu Kaku for like a motherfucker. What's that, Korean? You, you been there? Never. It's Korean barbecue, fool. Go, go fuck with it. Um, well, I grew up in LA, so K Town has the best Korean barbecue. I've been to the shit in K Town. It's just not. It's bullshit. It's just not that. I mean, I fuck with it, you know, but it's just. It's not to where you go. You know, if you want to <laughs> take a little bitch and shit, be on some flight shit, you feel me? Oh, take okay. a bitch to Gayu Kaku and shit. Okay, that's three. You need two more. Um, let's see, what else? Damn, this motherfucker got me drunk. I haven't ate shit. This Don Julio. It's good. We in here. We having a good one. Um, let's see, what else, fool? I mean, shit. Just, just food? I mean, shit. I, don't, I mean, shit, my boy, what you want? You only need those three? What, talk about McDonald's, asshole? Uh, shit, I fuck with the McMuffins. You fuck oh, with the McMuffins? Oh, my, that's my son. Right, I, pops. What the fuck? That shit gives you the I, I fuck with the McMuffins. Um, you know, I'm not going to talk about that shit. That shit not, it's, you know, they big names. Let me see what else. Uh, that's all. Give me two more. You have to have two more. I for sure. Or, I mean, if you only have those threes. I mean, Joey's in downtown L.A., so... Fuck is Joey's in downtown LA? That shit fire. You gotta go fuck with hey, it. What is it like? Uh, you said the Valley though. So. I know, I know, but okay. But I'm saying, I'm, I'm assuming you, you're from that area, so I'm thinking like, okay, he put me up on this. Ooh. All right. So Don Kuko food, Teppanyaki, Joey's. What else did I say? Gayu Kaku. Yeah, you got one more. Oh my son, go to Senor Sushi. You know what's up with that? Oh yeah, shout oh, out everything. my dog Raider. Oh God, yeah, yeah, yeah. Senor there you go. Sushi's my. See, I just be, I be fucking. Nah, you forgot about your homie shit. It's okay, it's cool. Don't do that. <laughs> hey, let's go. What's up? What you on after? Dude. Ah uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I ain't going to no club, let's nigga. Go to the club. We, I'm finna pull up on Raider after this. Let's go to the club. You got a table for me. Let's go to the club. Yeah, see Raider. Bravo, I've been bravo to the club. All the horny's gonna come to me, horny boys. <laughs> <laughs> Nah. And you know, you, you know what's crazy? But time I was kicking it, I, I, I followed some little bitch, and she had her homegirl with her, and she was like, hey. And I was like, what's up? So you know Bravo the Bachelor that follows me? I was to like, who? Some little bitch. To like, you? Yeah, she told me that. Uh -huh. And I was like, why? She's like, she, you know, she went on this little rant about how fine you are, and I was like, yeah. And I was like, Benesky. So she was like, she's like, you know he follows you, right? And I was like, yeah, it's the homie. She's like, 
really? And I was like, yeah. She's like, FaceTime And I'm like, bitch. But how many things you ugly anyways? You well, haven't even seen them. You didn't FaceTime me. Why you didn't FaceTime me? Cause what if, cause fool, what if like you feel me? She was, she wasn't all that. I thought she wasn't all that. And I feel like as a rapper, your standards are on a whole different level. So I'm like, oh shit, the bro. Army. I ain't no rapper till I sign a fucking deal. Bro, you're a rapper. Everything. I ain't no fucking you have rapper. Have a chain, a nice car, and you rap good. So what, nigga? So Biggest feature. Okay, all right. You're what that got to do? You're I'm not, a, I'm not okay. no. I'm not signed to no fucking label. Fuck the labels. You don't need a label to be a rapper. Okay, you're not signed, right? Biggest, biggest, biggest feature on your new tape. Mozzie, bro. Ooh. But I know that already. Give me something I don't know. Fool, that's, I, you said biggest one, Mozzie, bro. I don't need, I don't need features, bro. You don't need my, features. My You're too cool in, for that shit. I'm not too cool, bro, but, you know, I put a lot of work into my shit. I've been working in that shit for, like, over a year. Mm -hmm. Literally, bro, it's been over a year. A year and five months, bro. And I have 400 songs, bro. Me and my team, we sat there and listened through all 400 and chose 10. Yeah, 400, homie. Huh? Like, we chose 10, bro. I really, you know, like, I put my, I put my, I put my. That's a lot of fucking I put, songs. Yeah, man. I put, I put my shit. I put my heart into How, this shit. What's, <laughs> what's the most frustrating thing about your manager? In a good way. About my manager? <laughs> I'll give you mine about mine. All right, tell me. He just has a lot on his plate sometimes. He what? Cali, I love Cali to death. But he just sometimes, he just forgets shit. He's normal. People are human. But he'd be like, dude, why'd you forget that? When I forgot it too, I'm expecting for you to remember it, but I don't even remember it. So then I, it makes me a hypocrite for not remembering, but I trip on you for remember, not remembering. Mm. I don't know, maybe he lags to pick you up. Nah, I ain't gonna lie to homie punctual. He be, <laughs> he be, he be, on, he be on my ass like, nigga, I'm outside your house for 20 minutes, nigga, like, you feel me? But... Nah, the homie punctual. I, I mean, I think it was just today. You know, the homie was sleeping for this interview and shit. You know, I was like, bro, where you at? I called the homie Zay. I'm like, where Fat Fat at? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, you know, but but he here though. So nah, I, I'm gonna keep it G, bro. Management got a lot to do with these uh, artists and where their career going, bro. Most definitely. And, and, and I, you know, you just gotta have a good team around you, fool. I ain't got no complaints about my team. So I like that. Thank you for that because I'm saying like I be I mean hella complaints. Damn. Not, not in a, but in a good way. Like me and Shit. Kylie, we just me and Kylie been around for each other for about two almost three years. About to be four actually. No, no. Almost three about to be four years. We just, <laughs> we just have a good relationship, but not nah, like Nah, Kylie cool. Yeah, Kylie cool as fuck. He do his job. Shout out but Kylie. It's crazy because once friendship go into business, it's like, you know, it's yeah, crazy. Yeah, it's huh? crazy, but but Kylie did a great job by always separating. He did a really good job by always keeping me like Kylie keeps me very humble because he knows what I Kylie started managing me when I was working at Polo Loco. And now we're doing shit like working with Red Bull. That's what's up. We bro. got we got fucking we selling out shows and we selling out the El Rey. It's we late. fucking we we getting fat bags and he's sitting there with me like, I'm proud of you, fool. And he keeps me humble. I'm proud of you. And appreciate you my know God, what I'm saying? proud. Nigga, we come from nothing. You was working at Polo Loco. Shit. When I when, when I used we, to I used to post up nigga outside the U-Haul. On my son, on my son, nigga. What are you doing, flipping the cardboard and shit? Just helping people move, bro. I was Damn. broke, nigga. Like, nigga, I used to skip school just to do that shit. Me and oh, the homies. Real quick, I got a gift for you. Shout out Switch Studios, you feel me? The sponsorship of the podcast. They gave me some shit for you. Hey, fool, you're really a fucking medium? Yeah, dog. You full of shit, fat ass. I've been in the gym, oh, homie. I'm a medium, fool. I'm a medium. Oh, it's a bit large. But shout out Switch Studios. They gave me a gang of shit for you, feel me? That's some of that right there. Got the hoodie, you can use it in sleep, fuck, eat, oh, drink. Yeah, I'm you feel me? Food. Yes, sir, shout out Switch Studios. They got a couple locations, you feel me? Shout out Switch, I've I been to that shit. You been to uh, Switch Studios before? Uh, what's, the, what's the spot they got in that mall? What mall is it, fool? Is it Cerritos? Cerritos Mall, yeah. Oh, yeah, I pulled up on them. Yeah. I put up on the shit. They tax me, though, so next time I go, y'all gotta show some love. Yeah, next time, I, I'm gonna make sure I let them know, but. My guys from Switch Studio, you feel me? They got a location in Vegas, Cerritos, Irvine, a couple different places they're gonna be opening up at. But you feel me? I told them I was like, I got my guy Bravo coming, and they like, we fuck with Bravo, we bumping shit out that store all the time. Yeah. So it's only right they they lace you up with some basketball shorts, some hoodies, some tees. So next time you pull up, why you asking me for my shoe size? You feel me? Oh, cause the shoe didn't come by the way. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Tell them, let them know you need your shoes. That's crazy, nigga. My shoe size ain't got no shoes for me. <laughs> 
That isn't my fault. I was doing my job, I promise. Man. Nah, mm-hmm. shout out Switch, though. I've been to that shit. Yeah, I went to that shit like almost two years ago, a year and a half ago. Yeah, shout out Switch, man. But, bro, man, I appreciate you coming through, bro. Nah, oh, fuck that. We're going to keep this shit going. No, I'm playing with you. <laughs> All right, bro. Before this interview started, he was like, do you know I've seen your interviews? <laughs> For an hour, it's too long. <laughs> nah, Can I have one of your chains? Yeah, which one? Not the Bravo ones. I'm going to look at groupies. I'm going to bring you I'm gonna bring you some of the other ones. I ain't hey, he said he's going to give me his PS5, so everybody in the comments, make sure y'all tag him. Hey, Zay, he said that, right, Zay? He said, he said, I'll give it. I was like, how much for the PS5? We need one for the office. He's like, I'll donate it. I'll Yo, give bro. it to on, on everything. <laughs> Not a, I'm going to give it to he the said, He said, he you said, know he what? Oh, God. Don't play with me about no PS5. Uh, we, I'm going to hit you for sure. I got his number, too. I think he's going to have to catch me or uh, anything. Nah, I got you, fool. I'm going to one of your shows in LA. Like, hey, bro, what you about the PS5, bro? Nah, you ain't never missing no show. You don't yeah. fuck with me like I'm, that. I'm, I'm going to pull up to the one in the observatory. I'm going to bring you out. To the what? To the where? Observatory. I'm going to be drunk. Fuck you. Hey, nah, for sure. Pull up, bro. I thought you wanted to host it. You never hit me back or your management. I said, Fuck you and him. I said, I said, <laughs> you commented, I said, pull up, nigga. I'm up there. I'm gonna be up there. No Kizak. Hit me up. I'll send you my He drunk agreeing to shit. I'll send you. Oh god. I, I, we I, finna go do yeah. All right, come on, let's go. I, if I agreed it, I, I comment this over. I'll just cash at me later. Cash at me for what? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we, I, I thought we were, I thought, I thought we was family. I, I thought we was boys. Nah, we boy, we boy. I'll pull up for real though. I'm All up right. there. I'll bring you I want to bring you out. I want to hype up the, five minutes before your set, I want to come up and talk my set and give you your flowers and bring you out. Yeah, it's shit. lit, bro. It's lit. We Let's lit. Get it. Me promote. and Bravo get together. We'll just, I'll give Bravo my number after this, my Yeah, promote that Let's shit. Get. We lit. Let's get it. Is All it right, almost hey. so done? Uh, I'm going to be honest. I don't keep up with that shit. I just pull oh, up. that's his job. Yeah. Almost, yeah, yeah, we up yeah, that motherfucker. Almost sold out. So, um, so if you watching this shit, there's probably still some tickets on sale. So get your shit, cause Duno, Suede, I got Ji, who else? Chike, nigga, we got always, always. and some special guests. We're it's not freaky. gonna say it's it's a freaky ratchet show. So if you watch this shit before the uh, 24th, man, get your tickets. Nah, September. it's gonna be out before the 24th. Man, right, man, this is Cheese Man with Duno with Bravo, the motherfucking bag chaser, the pussy slayer. You know what I mean? The Mr. Smoke a lot of weed, drink a lot of tequila, hella perrier at the gym now. Size medium, boys. Oh, God, though. Remember when I was chubby, fool? Weak ass size medium. You ain't no size medium. I know that. Put your hand up. Stand up and put your hands up. If them shirts go up, you got to go back to the large, boy. <laughs> Man, shout out Bravo the Bad Taser. I love you, fool. You one of my, right, my favorites. I, I look, I salute you. I look up to you. And you know this. Fuck this camera shit. I, I have a conversation yes, with you. I fuck you. with my boy. I do know that we had to get this shit out the way for the culture. Yeah. So. He only came here because he put money though. Don't be so good. Damn. <laughs> nah, I'm like, no, I'm right. <laughs> Give him your app for people don't know no. I at Bravo the Bad Taser. I do know this world. We in this bitch going crazy. Fuck, fuck. Can they pre order the album? In a, in a week or so, in a week or so, you'll yeah, be able to. So. Okay, so I'll put the link in a little bit, but yeah, put the link. For what's the album gonna be called? Tell them all that. It's gonna be called uh, Born to Win Volume Two. You know, got a lot of big names on that shit. We finna mm-hmm. go crazy. September twenty second, we dropping. Shout out Duno. Shout out Cheeseman with Duno for having us. I appreciate y'all. Bow, bow.